Drummers, what's going on today? We're going to talk about exactly what footwear you should be wearing when you're playing the drums. But first... Ah, that feels good to get that out of the way. Now, before we jump into today, footwear and playing the drums is something that's actually a really common topic. I mean, as we get into health world, if you've explored health and fitness to any degree, there's so many different conversations around what footwear you should wear and what types of systems you should put them. Should you have orthotics or not? Should you wear gigantic metal construction boots or should you wear a more of a mobile running shoe or even those crazy toe shoes? That's a whole other conversation. Let's start off with a little bit of anatomy and then we'll extend it into the actual shoe. First and foremost, when we're trying to figure out what we should put on our feet, we should be thinking about the anatomy first. Because if we think about the anatomy, then we can figure out what forces are coming into the foot and determine if the forces that are coming into the foot make sense with the footwear. If you're wearing a shoe that's got a crazy weird mechanical thing that doesn't line up with pedal mechanics, then we're going to have to come up with a completely different situation. So if I'm looking at this foot here, this is the anatomy, the skeletal structure anatomy of your foot. We've got over 30 bones in this system, 55 articulations, and so many muscles and ligaments, it's kind of crazy. Most of us, when we're thinking about anatomical range of motion, especially as drummers, we really only think about this dorsiflexion, foot up, plantar flexion, foot down, range of motion. It's kind of the common thing, right? Bass drum pedal style motion. The thing is with this foot is there are so many different other joint systems. We have our heel that moves in the frontal plane called the subtalar joint, huge. Talocrural joint, which is the front to back dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. We have our mid tarsal systems and our forefoot and all of which have other small joint systems getting into oblique axis and talking about the first ray, it gets a bit complicated. Truth is, you don't really need to know all that, but what we do need to know is there is a lot of joint systems that move together to create a rigid platform for force production, to absorb force, or adjust its shape based off of the terrain. This is a great cool thing about feet and walking. Gait cycle, you need that hard thing to push off of, you need to absorb the force, and you need to be able to adjust its position for uneven terrain. Fortunately for us, bass drum pedals are pretty stationary and generally in one plane, unless you're using one of those crazy duelist pedals. Don't do that unless you need to. So foot anatomy, lots of stuff going on. The reason why I bring that up, if we're thinking about a lot of stuff going on, if we have all those joint systems, those anatomy pieces are purposeful. Why would we have so many different bones and articulations if we didn't need them for some reason? Traditionally, and in fitness land, and in case you don't know, I'm actually a fitness professional and I'm a gym owner. I have a team of trainers. I help trainers all over the world. It's awesome. So I talk a lot about this stuff. But in fitness land, footwear is a very popular topic. And everyone's saying you need support and orthotics. And that's very common. Here's the truth. If your foot has all of these floppy processes that are required to help you orchestrate movement, if we want to create small nuance-like motions on the bass drum pedal, like with our fingers and our hand to do molar technique, why not have a shoe that allows you to move naturally just like your foot? So here's what I'm going to throw out there to you. You can really wear any shoe that you want. My professional recommendation, provided that your body can tolerate it, is to grab a shoe like this. This is the New Balance Minimus shoe. It's my shoe I've been wearing for years. It's my favorite because your foot does have this front to back style motion. The New Balance Minimus, if I grab it from end to end with low resistance, I can move and roll the shoe in like that same sagittal plane motion like my foot. The model here can also twist from side to side. So I've got all these small joints that help to do smaller, delicate motions that help me do cool things with my foot. Well, the shoe with low resistance also lets me move pretty naturally. There are a lot of shoes like this, like Converse, uh, the Vibram toe shoes. So many different companies have this mobility available. And truth is, if you have foot problems, you have gout, you have arthritis in your feet, and maybe even you've got fallen arches and you do wear orthotics, I would get you to consider wearing a shoe like this just when you're playing the drums. Yes, wearing a shoe when you're playing the drums absolutely makes sense, and it actually helps a ton because we have rubber to give us friction to push on the pedal. 
Do you want to use just stocking feet and bare feet? You absolutely can. I'm not a big fan of just stocking feet because you lose friction and it really is hard to get a good solid coefficient of friction. I don't like that personally, but you can do that. Nothing wrong with that because you're using your natural foot. Bare feet would be awesome. You can get blisters though, so just be more careful of that there. So listen, if you're going to wear a shoe as a drummer, I would get you to consider respecting the anatomy as best we can. If you've been following this channel for a while, and please check out all of our drum set ergonomics series. We've got a whole pile of things. All of my modern drummer articles are now available. All the tutorials are available for drum set ergonomics from 2018 and more coming. But here's the deal. If your foot can move X, Y, and Z ways, why not have a shoe that moves lateral to that? If anyone disagrees or wants to talk about this, leave some comments below. I'm happy to talk about it because truth is, Footwear in really all worlds, running world, drumming world, fitness world, it's extremely confusing. But here's the great thing. This is about a $100 shoe. These low profile flat shoes are inexpensive, generally speaking. You don't need to buy a Minimus. You can actually just buy a Converse and get the same effect. And it looks super cool and fits in most rock settings, which is awesome. So everyone, this is Brandon from Drum Mechanics. Just in case, if you're wondering where I've been for a while, I got a gym that was affected by the lockdowns, Strata Internal Performance, great team of trainers, and I have an educational business for fitness professionals helping them market their business called Fitness Pro Mentors. Both keep me super busy, but the stuff I do with you is just fun, and I love it. So everyone, check me out. If you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out the previous videos, and at the end of the day, I want you all playing drums longer. Stronger drummers play drums longer, and that's super cool. Talk to you soon.